Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, hello, welcome. My name is Elena. My husband and I just had our embryo transfer, our very first IVF cycle, very first embryo transfer of the most perfect embryo I have ever laid my eyes on. Let me show you. Isn't he or she beautiful? I agree. So I asked you all on Instagram if you would like to see kind of any symptoms that I'm experiencing days one through four and then days five through eight before our beta, kind of how I'm feeling, a little check-in, and you guys all said, actually not all of you, the majority of you said yes. So my sweet sister-in-law gave me this journal uh, many months ago and I am finally putting it to use. I have filled up all of my other journals and I have jotted down kind of how I'm feeling, symptoms, things like that, and I wanted to share days one through four with you. Let's go ahead and get started. So I know this video is like days one through four, but I am gonna go ahead and include day of transfer um, just because I noticed like one small thing and I just wanted to add it in here just in case you all are going through a transfer and you wanna see if it's normal, if you're the only one, etc. cetera. Um, and that is just cramping after the transfer I did have some mild cramping I would say with your cervix being messed with you have like this little catheter or cannula going into your uterus like there you should experience some cramping I do not relate that to implantation or anything else other than just your lady parts being messed with <laughs> so I did experience cramping day of transfer so day one after transfer so day one day past transfer which would also be six days past ovulation, if this were like a normal natural cycle. I have mild cramping in the morning and then a tender lower belly. It felt like I had done an ab workout. And what's crazy is I watched Chelsea Hansen's video of her IVF um, symptoms before her BFP and she noted this as well. So whenever I was like, okay, why is my lower belly sore? I immediately was like, <laughs> Like maybe this is a good sign um way too early to tell and again this could have been just from the transfer itself i mean i could have slept on it weird i don't know and that's what is so terrible is like the giant question mark like i do not know why i feel these things yet so but i definitely noted it because it was something significant on day one so two days past transfer i had wrote down lots with an underline lots of cramping mostly in the afternoon slash evening and i also wrote down fatigue um for day two is when i definitely noticed just like pure exhaust exhaust exhaustion exhaustion am i saying that right exhaust exhaustion <laughs> exhaustion okay so i was extremely tired on day two three days past transfer i had cramping um still continuing on i would say that this cr my cramping has not been consistent and that's one thing that's made me a little worried because i feel like in my mind it should be so whenever i don't feel that cramping i'm immediately like what's wrong like is my body not accepting this embryo what's going on um so cramping is not consistent and I just want to add that in there because if we do get pregnant, this was like the biggest question that I had. Should this be consistent? And I just want to add in, mine has not been. I mean, it'll be like hours I feel it and then hours or even the rest of the day I don't feel it. I wrote fatigue and capital letters. Um, the level of exhaustion. Why can I not say this more tonight? The level of how tired I am is unreal, and I'm not sure if this is progesterone related. I I have no idea, but I, I am seriously drained. I am like sitting at my desk, like peeling my eyeballs open, so tired. In day three, I also <laughs> noted irritability. I just feel so annoyed by everything. I definitely feel like PMS. Like right before I start, I get very annoyed with people, annoyed with myself, annoyed with my animals, annoyed with everything. And I wrote that down for day three. I remember we left breakfast and my husband was talking and I had my eyes closed and in my head, I'm like, shut your mouth, like please. <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel so bad. 
I feel so bad for saying this and I pray that the sweet Lord understands but I just was like please shut like I just, I want to close my eyes and I don't want to hear you. <laughs> oh, that's really bad. But I'm being totally honest. And day four, by the way, I'm filming this on day five. I wanted to get like all of day four noted. I didn't want to film on day four and then experience something after. Um, so day four, still the cramping continued. Again, very inconsistent. It hasn't been... It has not been consistent at all. It's like, I feel it here, I feel it there. Sometimes um, I will like get up in the middle of the night and use the restroom and I lay back down and it's like I felt nothing but as soon as I relieve my bladder, I feel cramping. It's really weird, <laughs> it's, it's very strange. And then I also put, again, fatigue and I actually took a nap yesterday. I was seriously so tired, I could not keep my eyes open. I laid on the couch and it was probably like a half hour nap. Could have been way longer, but I am the type, if I sleep at all during the day, I will not sleep at night. So I forced myself to like get up, do the dishes, like get moving just so I can keep myself awake. I also put on there still just the moodiness. And I feel so, I feel really bad about this because I don't want to be moody and I don't want to hear my husband's voice and want to scream or like, squeeze his head or I don't want to like look at people and feel the things that I feel about them. I just feel so moody and a little disclaimer and one thing that is so hard to like navigate is are these symptoms of the progesterone that I'm taking or are these symptoms of possible pregnancy? So that is one thing I've heard many women say is and if you read um what's the word side effects for progesterone, it's cramping, it's headaches, it's nausea, it's all these things, all the things that I'm feeling. Um, I was on progesterone one week, well actually five days before my transfer, and I felt nothing on progesterone. I didn't feel cramping, I didn't feel headaches, fatigue, anything. And then after transfer, these came, but it's kind of like it's my body just, it just took a while to build up. So just a little disclaimer, could be progesterone I am on, progesterone and oil the injection and then I am also doing a suppository of progesterone my body is so overflowing with progesterone right now it's unreal I feel like I eat breathe drink progesterone and my poor husband I have to actually just add this in there the other day I was saying I'm you know I'm just so moody and I think it's that progesterone he's like I, it made me really moody too whenever I was on it I'm like when were you on progesterone and why and he's like don't you remember whenever I hurt my back and I had to be on that progesterone like I, you're thinking of prednisone that is not progesterone it was just it was cute and comical but it has nothing to do with this I just thought I'd add it in but overall day one through four symptom lines of how I'm feeling emotionally I am flipping drained mentally I am drained spiritually I am drained I feel like all of the energy in every form has just left my body. It's been a journey these past four days. So I am day five past transfer today. When this video goes up, I will be day six past transfer. A lot of you asked on my recent, my embryo transfer video when my beta was, and it is Thursday the 14th, so on Valentine's Day. So when you see this video, it will be up Friday. That's my goal, Elena, have this video up Friday. So I will already know at that time, just to like throw this out there, we will get our beta on Thursday. We will do a second beta on the following Monday, um, but we will not be announcing on social media until, honestly, we probably get our first ultrasound if we are pregnant. And if we are not pregnant, we probably will still just give ourselves that time and not post anything online. So I just ask for your prayers and patience and a little bit of privacy after our beta. I know that I have shared everything so public, but I do feel like getting that beta and getting that phone call is something so personal and intimate to my husband and I, and we will share when we feel ready to share those results. So 
I just want to thank you so much for your prayers and your positive, encouraging words. I swear, I see every single comment, every single DM, every single whatever, and it is so appreciated and never overlooked. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys on day nine past transfer with my day five through eight symptoms. Bye guys. You gotta listen up, listen up There's not a thing that I can get